I believe that a messy room reflects a messy mind. And my room's a bit of a mess. <laughs> Hey everybody, what's up? Remember when I said I was going to upload a video every Monday? And how well that went? <laughs> Sorry I've not uploaded in like a month, but a lot has been going on. Um, I've been very busy with a lot of stuff and some things have been pretty awesome. Some things have been pretty rubbish. So today I am going to tidy my room and also let you in on what's been going on the past month. First off, I turned 22, which was, you know, pretty uneventful apart from gaining an extra year of my life. Um, the one day in my life that I'll have Taylor Swift stuck in my head all day, which was uh, different. <laughs> the day I got my phone back, I was actually gonna film a day in the life of an exchange student, and I filmed a few wee things and I was trying to get assignments done. But then I got locked inside the building at the university, which was uh, interesting. I didn't actually film any of that, that's a whole other story for a whole other time, but that was a thing that happened. <laughs> That was uh, interesting. And that same day I got locked in the building, I also had a birthday party. But it was not just for me, it was for also my friends Kevin and Tally, who also have birthdays in June. Yes, my microwave lives on top of my washing machine. So I also did all my exams and assessments, which included in around four assignments one exam and three resets overall and then I also went back to Scotland briefly to visit my mum for her 60th birthday. She didn't know I was coming so I surprised her and arrived and it was really nice to go back home to see everyone, see my friends and family and especially to surprise my mum for her birthday. She had no idea what was coming so that was really fun. Also, I finally got some juggling balls for my birthday. Jake got me some juggling balls for my birthday, so now I have my own. And also, my flatmates, Ollie and Helena, moved out. And uh, that's quite sad, actually, because I already missed them. <laughs> Since starting this video this earlier on today, cool. my other flatmate Ataman just moved out. So now I'm officially 100% alone in one of the grimmest flats ever. I know I said this in my last vlog, but the weather here has just been absolutely fantastic. Like, I've not had a summer this nice in so long. And I know back in Scotland at the moment it's also very nice and they've had like record breaking temperatures. Um, but it's just been really nice being out here and enjoying the nice weather. So I've been swimming in the canal a few times and I've been going out cycling and just generally enjoying the sun, which has been a nice positive part of the end of my time here. Last weekend I also went to We Are Electric Weekender, which was absolutely fantastic. I'm glad I finally got my festival fix. I go to so many festivals back in Scotland, so I'm glad I actually managed to make it to a festival out here in the Netherlands. I've seen The Prodigy Live, I've seen Tamon Crooked, I caught the end of Andy C set, um, Netsky set, I caught uh, loads of other artists as well, but it was just an absolutely fantastic weekend. And my friends from AIR actually came over to come out with me that weekend for the festival, so it was really great seeing them and hanging out with them. So that was really fun. <laughs> so that's all the great, fun, happy things that have been happening over the past month. But there's one main thing that's been pretty rubbish and it's kind of stemmed other thoughts and feelings in my brain and and that is that out of the nine modules that I did while I've been here, I passed all of them apart from one, which was applied research. A class that I struggled with from the beginning and I knew I wasn't really gonna do that well in. Pretty much there was a massive miscommunication between me and my home university and though they're painting it as a miscommunication, I feel like they actually lied to me about the opportunities I could have to regain any lost credits I had. And because of this one failed class, long story short, is that I have to reset third year. Um, but because it's only a three credit defect, I'm going to be behind an entire year just to do one class. So I don't get to go into fourth year until next year. Um, 
which is pretty rubbish news to hear to be honest because I came out here to the Netherlands expecting to you know pass you know be able to continue on to fourth year afterwards and have a great experience out here but now it's just left me wondering what was really the point but it's making me just reflect on the entire time that I've spent here and I feel like I wasted so much time stressing and worrying and putting so much work into my uni mark and now it's not really equated to very much of anything considering I'm not getting to continue on um, to fourth year after this trimester. Um, obviously when I found this out it was really upsetting and frustrating but obviously as the times went on and I've had it sitting in my brain I've came to the realisation that it's probably going to be better for me in the long run because I'm going to have more time to really focus on my production company that's getting kicked started back home and maybe even my own YouTube channel. Uh, just really focus on getting work experience and just being able to manage my own time properly and just do better I guess. I guess it kind of kicks the face that I needed um, and yeah obviously it's not great that I'm going to be left behind here considering it's just because I failed one out of nine classes that I did. Um, not alone just that but like the workload over here is so much greater than the workload back at home and I wasn't really expecting it. Um, but yeah, I don't want to sit here and moan about the fact that I'm going to be held back. No. I just wanted to let you know that this that's something that happened and it just, that I'm happening just made me reflect on my entire time here and I just had to remind myself that I have done so many fantastic, great, fun things since I've been out here and just had this opportunity in the first place to move away from my hometown and to experience living on my own for the first time in a new country and to realise that that in itself is an experience that was worthwhile and not the fact that I failed one of my classes and that I should still be happy and continuing on. <clears throat> so I officially today only have two more weeks left in the Netherlands and it's making me again, I'm just in a very reflective state of mind at the moment. Uh, definitely an overthinker. Uh, I think that's not a great quality about myself. Um, lots of people in the exchange class have been just moving away, everyone's slowly picking and leaving and going traveling and a lot of people that I met I'm never gonna see again and I never really got to say a proper goodbye to most of those people which is a little bit frustrating but at the same time it's made me realize that you know whether or not I was really fantastic friends with all these people doesn't really matter because overall I've had a great time a but in that I've been getting a lot more aware of how people are acting around me and treating me and I don't know what it is but I just I have been having a lot of insecurities around people that I've been hanging out with and within that I've been pushing people further away from me and it's not very healthy so yeah I just thought I'd express what's going on in my head at the moment like as I said messy room messy mind <laughs> but uh, like I said, so many people are leaving and people, the end is coming and it's very real um, and reality is hitting hard and I'm going to try and put all the negative stuff behind me and just look forward and really try and enjoy these last two weeks here with the people that I really enjoy spending my time with and I want to be able to push out a few more videos before I leave and yeah, that's just what's going on at the moment. <laughs> so yeah, my room's nice and tidy now and my mind also feels tidier now too, now that I've kind of expressed my feelings a little bit. <laughs> I haven't got a Dutch fact for you, but give me a second, give me a second. Dutch fact! The Wilhelmus, Wilhelmus, Wilhelmus? Wilhelmus. Wilhelmus. The Wilhelmus is the country's national anthem and it's actually the oldest national anthem in the world. Pretty crazy. And that includes both the words for the song and the tune itself. And it dates back to the 16th century. Whereas in Scotland we don't actually have our own national anthem. There's four songs that are, have been voted around being the national anthem. The top voted one being The Flower of Scotland. But uh, we don't actually have a national anthem. So there you go, there's your Dutch fact in comparison for you today. So yeah, now I'm counting down until the end of my time here. Got exactly two weeks until I leave. So I'm hopefully gonna be putting out two more videos for you around Tilburg and the Netherlands and my thoughts on leaving and everything so look out for that and I'll see you next week. <laughs>